welcome to For the Clarity and Closure of the Viewers' Comments. I'm just going to say a few brief things before we begin. Number one, when you choose to comment on my YouTube channel, there are terms and conditions, there are rules that you must follow. It's my house. I expect you to follow the rules. If you don't, your comment probably will not be published. Also, I ask that you be honorable and graceful, i.e. respectful of everyone here. Please don't go around telling people what they should or shouldn't do. And if you come here making claims, making claims about this or that or the third or something that's happened to you or whatever, having to do with grammar or courts or whatever, you better be able to certify your correct sentence structure knowledge because this is a correct sentence structure channel and I am going to call you to the carpet on it if you start making claims about something that you perhaps don't know what you're talking about. It's very important for the safety of the vessel. If you have closure on correct sentence structure, you should be able to provide that proof like that on the spot. So keep that in mind. The energy you bring here, I will return. I will balance it out with rule one, rule equal. So without further ado, let's get to the comments. Welcome to this special edition of For the Clarity and Closure of the Viewer's Comments. Not too long ago, I published a video. It was the Coral Blade Grotto Broadcast 45, which was one of my reaction videos where I react to someone called Hannah Reloaded. And they were actually reacting to the nine and a half hour Colin David Eiffelwing Colin Miller seminar. And this individual, Mac One Juno, which is obviously a nom de guerre, who knows who that is. They did not see fit to share their correct name. Um, they decided to make a comment where they said, The Matrix is a fiction system, Neo. Now, if you notice, they're typing using adverb, verb, adjective, pronoun. They're not using brackets or quotations or italics or anything like that. They're comfortable participating with plain English fiction babble. Keep that in mind because when I'm looking at comments, I'm looking at things like that, how people communicate. And if that's what they choose to do, then that's a hint to me that they have little to no knowledge of at all of correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar, how it works, or anything like that. I'm not saying that's the be-all, end-all of it. I'm saying that these are little vetting processes that I use. How someone communicates tells me their knowledge level with you know, regards to quantum grammar. And apparently this Mac1 Juno, whomever they are, again, they chose to comment anonymously. Uh, and that, that's another vetting process I use. If someone is willing to put their correct name under their, their words, that means they've authorized it. They, they are the authority of it. They take authority of it. They're not afraid to step up onto the geometric level playing field or at least step up onto the carpet and take accountability for their words. Uh, I use that as part of the vetting process to see who is actually standing behind their words and who isn't. And whether it's intentional or not, this individual is not. They're choosing to use a uh, nom de guerre, and they're choosing to communicate using adverb, verb, adjective, pronoun, which tells me they probably don't know very much about correct sentence structure. Anyways, this is the comment they left. They said, the matrix is a fiction system, Neo. That system is our enemy due to intentional miseducation and ignorance that a remedy of it, CSSCPSG, exists. That a remedy of it I guess they mean a remedy of it. What what do they mean? What a remedy of what? A remedy of intentional miseducation and ignorance exists. Okay, I don't know. But when you are inside, you look around, what do you see? Businessmen, teachers, lawyers, carpenters. The very minds of the people we are trying to educate. But until we do, these people are still part of that fiction system. Okay, the very minds of the people we are trying to educate. We, 
again, as I said in the other uh, comments video, I take it this is uh, a paraphrasing of the character Morpheus in the movie The Matrix. Now, as far as correct sentence structure goes, I'm not a big movie buff. I don't think, I mean, the value of a thing is what you ascribe to it. You know, if you find movies are valuable, cool. That's up to you. But for me, I don't really find much value in movies other than um, pieces of art. You know, entertainment. Maybe escapism. Educational, sure. Knowledge cultivation and things like that. But as far as correct sentence structure knowledge, no. Not at all. Now, I know Mark Lore, Case K. Sean Christopher is very fond of claiming that he can predict the future or whatever from movies that the elite, the champions, the Olympians always tell the general public what they're going to do through the movies and blah, 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 which is all a bunch of horse shit as far as I'm concerned. Maybe that's part of the reason why he got kicked off YouTube. But anyways, you know, a lot of people like to put they like to project meaning into movies that perhaps really aren't there. Kind of like the way people project their interpretations and opinions of the Bible. That it means this and not this. And this is the correct interpretation and this isn't. And it's right in front of your face because it's clear as day on this movie. But it's really not clear as day. It's just your interpretation of it. That's the way I look at it. That's why I love correct sentence structure. Because it's not open to interpretation. It is what it is. There is no multi-paragraph mitigation about quantum grammar there just isn't but when you're talking about a movie in philosophy of course you can type out pages and pages of rhetoric of opinions of mitigations of arguments if you so choose which you're going to see uh, in this mac one juno's uh, comment coming up here this is exactly what he did or she did i don't know if they're a, a male or female so no offense intended here. So, anyways, the very minds of the people we are trying to educate, meaning we, Neo and Morpheus, I guess. The people we are trying to educate. So the people are the businessmen, teachers, lawyers, and carpenters. Did those people ask you to educate them, Neo and Morpheus, or Mac One Juno? Did they ask you for that? Because if they did, okay, cool, educate them. If they're not getting the education and they asked you for the education, try harder then. You know, you said you're trying to educate them. Well, try a little bit harder. But if they didn't ask you, then you have no business trying anything as far as educating them. Because contract is by consent. If I don't want you to teach me, then you better just F off somewhere. Because otherwise, you and I aren't going to get along. And you're trespassing. Do you see the point I'm making here? Contract is by consent. I don't know how many times I got to say that. Probably ad nauseum. But until we do, these people are still a part of the fiction system, and that makes them a complicit part of it until CSS, CPSG educated. So this individual is uh, paraphrasing, paraphrasing Morpheus is saying that the lawyers, carpenters, teachers, and businessmen are a complicit part of the fiction system until such time as they choose to be correct sentence structure educated. I'm guessing that's what they mean. You have to understand most of these people are not ready to be unplugged. That is a huge presumption and assumption right there. It could be a good guess. It might not be. As far as being ready, I mean, that's like saying, are you ready to die? How many people are ready to die? You see what I'm saying? Are, are you ready to have your leg broken? Um, are you ready to be a millionaire? You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's sort of a non-issue when someone says something like that. They're not ready to be unplugged. Well, okay. <laughs> so what? Ask them if they're ready to be unplugged or not. If they say no, leave them the hell alone. And many of them are so inured. Now, again, I don't know what they mean. Do they mean injured or they mean inured? I'm not sure. So hopelessly dependent on the fiction system that they will fight to protect it. True. True. 
Uh, that's the one part that I do agree with, you know, that uh, a lot of people, whether they're dependent on the system or maybe they just benefit from the system, they'll fight to protect that system that, that benefits them. Who wouldn't? I mean, if something is benefiting you and someone else comes along and tries to unplug you from that system you're being benefited from or benefited by, wouldn't you fight to stop that from happening, especially if you didn't ask them to do that? It's, a, it's just like freaking common sense, for real. So then my kuleana to that was, keep in mind, Neo, you know, I'm kind of playing along with the, with the uh, trope here. Keep in mind, Neo, that everyone has a choice. They can choose to be educated or choose to defend the fiction system that they are a slave to. It's not up to us to make that choice for them. If we would, then that would make us no different than the fiction system. That's a pretty simple, cut-and-dried, concise kuleana, as far as I'm concerned. And then to even further clarify, I offered up a 60-minute, or I'm sorry, a 60-second video, kuleana, and I'll play that for you now. Thank you for that comment, Mac1 Juno. Gives me the opportunity to share a little psychological knowledge uh, with regards to the paraphrase that you shared that was, you know, I guess, originated from the character Morpheus in the movie The Matrix. In hindsight, <clears throat> looking at this, this paraphrase, I find it low-key condescending because it assumes that Morpheus is telling Neo that what they're doing is they're fighting to free the people from The Matrix, even though the people don't know that they want to be free, which that is a huge assumption presumption, and actually it's a trespass. Because everybody has a choice. Contract is by consent. You can choose to be educated or you can choose to continue to be a slave to the fiction system. It's all a choice. And that's the most important thing. Because if you're going to try and make the choice for someone else, that is a trespass. Mac1 Juno sent me this. You see this on your screen right here. Look at how long this is, right? And this isn't even the whole comment because... Mac1 Juno invested the time and energy to actually transcribe what I said verbally in the video. I didn't include that though because it would be way, way too long then. So I saw this and then I offered uh, this coolie on, on the YouTube channel in the public. I said, I will address the extremely lengthy comment that you left here in a separate video unless you would like to summarize it in one brief paragraph. To which the nom de guerre, Mac1 Juno, whoever that is, said, as it pleases you, it is your vessel. That is correct. The man whom said that was just lazy, took the easy way out, other lazy people bought it. I'm not sure who he's talking about here, or she, I'm sorry, I keep doing that. I don't know if this is a male or a female, so I'll just say they, I guess. I understand why they would. 1% of 1% of 1%, you know. Not so wise in the end, but it has been said, ignorance is bliss. I wonder what they meant by the man whom said that. The man whom said what? I guess maybe the man, I guess maybe the man who said this, Morpheus was lazy? Let's get to the bottom of this together, friends and neighbors. Let's look at that lengthy comment that the man or woman, Mac1 Juno, sent me. I think I'm going to need a fresh beverage to actually dive into this piece here. Because, wow. Okay. So, as I said earlier, Mac1 Juno, he or she, transcribed what I said in that short 60-second video. And I didn't put that in here. And then they continued on with their response. And they said, By the way, 
all people are given full fair knowing choice to continue in illusion as a slave or create their own reality in an actual world. Now what do they mean by that? How do they know that all people are given full fair knowing choice to continue in the illusion as a slave? How do they know it's an illusion? See, to me, right off the bat, that's a red flag. That's giving me insight into Mac One Juno's psychological condition state. They think, they're assuming, this is what it appears to me, they're assuming that all people know that it's an illusion. And they know that they're a slave. And they choose to continue as that or not which again is a bunch of hogwash. Because if something is an illusion, like if I'm in an illusion, how, how do I know that? Unless I discover suddenly, oh, it's an illusion. And now suddenly everything's clear. Then I can continue on in the illusion. I can continue just like in the movie, The Matrix, like the guy that wants to eat the steak rather than live in the, you know, harsh world that Neo and Morpheus and those people live in. He'd rather live in the illusion and eat his steak and whatever. But he knows it's an illusion. How does Mac One Juno know that all people know that? He couldn't possibly know that unless he's got some sort of godlike powers, which, I mean, as far as I know, no one has that sort of power of perception. So they're beginning their premise, they're beginning their, their lengthy treatise here with an, a huge assumption presumption. And that is a huge red flag for me as to their psychological condition of state. They're starting off on a false premise, as we would say in the trivium method world of logical fallacies. It's a false premise. However, the machine matrix world needed to be on the brink of extinction before it would release its slave grip and allow full knowledge to be known to the people whereby they will make a knowing choice as own authority, a proper consent and contract. Did you miss that part? By you, I think he means, I'm sorry, by you, I think he or she means me. Did I miss what part? I saw The Matrix one time, many, 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 many years ago. And then again, I said before, I don't place much value in movies at all. I'm more um, involved in practical matters in the, you know, the actual real world, you know, not the world of movie. So whatever part maybe I did miss it in the movie if you're talking about the movie are you talking about the movie or are you talking about life as it is on a day-to-day -day basis or are you getting that confused I'm not sure are you assuming that I saw that movie because I did see the movie the very first matrix but many many years ago when it first came out and again, like I said, I'm not a big fan of that type of thing. And I didn't even really like The Matrix too much. Um, but anyways, did I miss that part? I don't know. Maybe I did. But whatever part it was, if you're basing your thesis or whatever it is on that, that's a false premise. You have a faulty foundation to what you're going to say next by my perception. So... Whatever you say next is based on a false premise. Let's make that clear. I agree with full knowing consent and freedom of choice. An excerpt from a book, The Resolution of Mind. The No Solution of Mind. Adverb, verb, adverb, verb. As mentioned later in this reply, will clarify in a separate reply post. Holy smokes. In addition to this multi 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 paragraph comment they're gonna offer m more wow dwm david Wim miller claimed the movie the matrix movie was made about him as he with his cssc psg was the smith virus 
that was destroying the machine matrix. The matrix machine conceded in order to survive. Okay. I'm familiar with that claim from David Wimmiller. All right. Um, here's the thing. Correct sentence structure isn't destroying anything. Okay. It's not a negative condition of state. It is not a destroyer. It's a positive performance technology. The fiction system, it does not fear correct sentence structure because the fiction system knows correct sentence structure cannot really harm it. These are not assumptions. These are conclusions that I've come to in my almost six years of experience, over 30,000 hours of doing this stuff. The reason being, and Mac One Juno mentioned it earlier, or he alluded to it, he implied it, though only the 1% of the 1% of the 1% are actually going to learn the technology known as correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar, simply because of the commitment that it commands of its students. Very, 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 very few people possess the gumption, the intestinal fortitude, the willpower to learn it. So, right off the bat, again, it's a false premise. The movie The Matrix, I mean, although David Wynn Miller may have claimed this or that or the third about that movie, it doesn't make it true, okay? As we see the world on this planet now, now, Mac Wanjunu is saying, as we see the world. So they are making a claim for we. Who's we? Does he mean he? Does he have a mouse in his pocket? I'm sorry, I keep saying he. Why do I do that? He or she, does, does he or she have a mouse in their pocket? Do they have multiple personalities? Do they have a group of people that they are representing? Um, what do they mean by we? Because I certainly wouldn't include me in that we because I didn't give them consent to make a claim for me. See how that works? But I digress. Might it be currently in a similar event as the fiction is being daily exposed and in desperation creating as much chaos as it can trying to frantically keep the control matrix in place? Wow. Wow. Mac one Juno, is that your perception of what's happening here? Because I have a completely opposite perception from my experience of actually using correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar on a daily basis. I find that the fiction system is the fiction system. It continues on as it always has. There is no change. It's not frantically creating chaos. It's cool as a freaking cucumber, bro. I don't know how much experience you have. Um, I mean, outside of correct sentence structure, because I can guess that you don't have any experience using quantum grammar uh, to stop the trespass of a fiction system. But just in general, your experience with uh, just in the last three years or so with the medical mandates and stuff, I mean, it's just not... It's, doing what it's always done. There's no frantic uptick in chaotic perpetration by my perception as someone who's in it on a daily basis. I mean, this is doing what it's always done. China was a world threat. Now it is inundated, flooded daily, threat washed away. So I don't know nothing about that. As I stated before, for many years, I was a manager on a huge golf community resort in Arizona where there's seven 18-hole golf courses, uh, a spa, a horse ranch, all kinds of stuff. And on that uh, property, we would get on a, on a yearly basis Chinese interns. So over, you know, maybe half a dozen years, I got to know a dozen or so Chinese interns, citizens of China, who 
would share with me their experiences in China. <laughs> and what you just said there, that I don't see any evidence of what you're saying at all. Do you know people in China? Uh, have they told you that? Or are you just going by what you see that's presented to you on your computer screen? World War Three and or four in full swing. Again, that's your perception. Plenty of toys above and below to create any desired chaos, and those not educating themselves believe it is just nature interfered with by CO2 gas, which equates to 0.04% of the atmosphere, so too many cow farts, car exhaust, gas heating your wood-burning stove, and too much growing of food, never mind the sun, current planetary axis, tilt, solar system position relative to galactic plane and angus other contributing factors even if you mentioned by dwm wow okay so this individual mac one juno thinks that there's a planetary axis tilt so they think they participate with the belief system that there is a round spinning globe going through the the sea of space that there is a solar system, that there's a galactic plane. Um, again, whether there is or there isn't, I really don't know. But what I do know is that neither I nor Mac One Juno can certify any of that shit. So that doesn't pertain to me. I don't really care about any of that. Because uh, it's, it, it's non-certifiable. It's just a black hole of mitigation, pretty much. Now, I know what they're talking about. Mac one Juno is talking about climate change. Well, there is a such thing as climate change. Climate changes every day. It changes every season. It changes every year. It changes every decade. It changes every century. It changes every millennia. Climate change is climate change. It's always been changing. Change is modification. Modification is perjury. I mean, what more do you want? Um, as far as mankind, I don't think mankind has anything to do with, I mean, as far as affecting it in the way the mainstream media would want you to believe that it's affected. I don't, I don't think that's, uh, an actual thing. But as far as weather modification, yes, that can be certified that there are weather modification programs cloud seeding there's haaarp uh, having to do with the ionosphere, ionosphere that is that is true all right but as far as axis tilt and solar system position that's you know as believable to me as the bible which means zilch less than zilch so how are people offered choice Everything is a choice. I'm not sure what you mean by that. How are people offered choice? There's always a choice. Everyone would need to be presented with the subject matter with a degree of understanding in order to make a choice. Well, yes, everyone makes a choice based upon their level of comprehension, their level of cognition. And you make a choice. It's very simple. It appears 70% of America very likely made a bad choice receiving an intervention countermeasure through ignorance and coercion, implied loss of job, freedom to travel, yes, I knew better three decades ago, and researched anew anyways. I had a natural intervention from years ago on my shelf. I'll bet you also knew better and did not partake what was offered for a non-certified, likely non-existent bug. What are they talking about here? Everyone would be needed everyone would need to be presented the subject matter with a degree of understanding in order to make a choice. Everybody makes a choice on a daily basis. All right. It doesn't matter how much they know or they don't know, there's still a choice to be made. If someone produces a medical mandate and they say, All right, in order to keep working your nine to five job at this location you have to get this medical procedure. And then the individual, the employee says, well, I don't want that medical procedure, but I still have to feed my family. 
And then their employer says, well, tough beans, bro. You either get the medical procedure or you get fired. It's a choice. It depends upon whatever it is you value. Do you value um, your job more than you value your health? It's a choice. It is a choice. And many people did make the choice of valuing their health over the job, and it worked out just fine for them. Because the cosmos has a very interesting way of supporting positive performance choices and positive volition choices. Contract is by consent only by way of each party to a contract having full knowledge. I.e. their own fully cognizant judge mechanics on a level playing field where full disclosure, no closure, of rules, procedures of every kind involved are equal. Knowledge to each party to the contract. Um, see, here's the thing. That's not necessarily true. So perhaps a more in-depth study of contract would be beneficial to Mac 1 Juno. Contract is by consent no matter what. All the full terms and conditions do not have to be provided in order for consent to take place. They don't. It's up to you as a contract party to do the vetting to find out whether the other contract party is hiding something, to find out if the other contract party is withholding something, or if they're lying to you. It's up to you to do that. Okay? Period. End of story. You're the one that's accountable for that. Not anybody else. In a completely fair world, I guess, maybe, that would be the case. But that's not the case especially not with the fiction system. So what you're saying there is wishful thinking by my perception because that's just not what happens at all. And the remedy to that is you do your homework. You do the vetting, just like everyone else, just like me. I vet every single person I do a consult with. I decide whether or not I want to contract with them. It doesn't matter if they're withholding information or if they're being unfair I can usually see that a mile away. I can suss you out and tell whether you're shady or not. I'm pretty good at that. I've got experience. So that's the bottom line, man. I mean, contract is by consent. You could have just stopped that sentence right there. Contract is by consent. Boom. In a perfect world, yeah. Sure, all the knowledge would be available. But that ain't the way it is, bro. Otherwise, any unfair advantage is exploitation. The only way it would not be exploitation is the superior knowledge individual would be 100% benevolent and caring about his contracting party he is contracting with. This would be so rare on planet Earth as to be another 1% value. Well, that's pretty much what I just said. The people of Earth are not any more qualified or capable of knowing a consent than a zombie, drugged out, falsely imprisoned person kept locked up locked up because they are actually highly intelligent capable being, beings that are a threat to the malevolent hidden hand behind the scenes which consider they can survive and thrive as they desire by exploitation as their preferred means that is a massive adverb verb adjective pronoun sentence so again this is a this is an assumption the people of earth are are not any more qualified or capable of knowing consent than a zombie drugged out falsely imprisoned person. What an assumption Mac One Juno is making for his fellow mankind. That's what he thinks of you folks, or that's what she thinks of you folks, or that's what it thinks of you folks. You're a bunch of zombies. <laughs> Sounds like Mark to look lowercase K Sean Christopher, doesn't it? It reminds me a lot of what... Uh, the way Mark talks about people. Like he's very condescending and doesn't very think think very highly of his fellow mankind. The fiction system makes Earth such a prison and most are in such a zombie state, also kept in a fear state by real and imagined threats 
by daily psychological warfare. Again, the value of something is what you ascribe to it. If that's what Mac 1 Juno looks at Earth as, then that's the Earth they're going to get. It's certainly not the Earth I look at. The Earth I look at and participate with is a very beautiful place. It, it can be a very dangerous place. But if you choose to be educated, cultivate your knowledge, cultivate your skills, more than capable of, of navigating safely through the sea of space. Uh, no problem, no problem. But again, it's a choice. If you choose to participate with this type of uh, fear-mongering, that's your choice. And that's the world you get. What follows is shown to be choice only by rare criteria a very few possess. Some closer to luck than choice. I don't participate with the concept known as luck. There is no such thing as luck or coincidence by my knowledge. In my life, there is no such thing. But of course, if you participate with that concept, it's up to you. I look at luck the same way I look at, you know, God or ghosts or whatever. Though we do the work as own authority, most won't. We know it is not luck. Who is we? Again, they're talking about we. I don't know if they have a group of people that they're representing or they're speaking for, but I know I'm not a part of that group because I didn't consent to it. I see your viewpoint and I can lay and I can, by personal knowledge and experience, duplicate via a separate, though somewhat related, mathematical algebraic interface that a researcher of the mind discovered and developed. What? I see your viewpoint, and I can, by personal knowledge and experience, duplicate via a separate, though somewhat related, mathematical algebraic interface that a researcher... You can what? You can what? I have no idea what that sentence means right here, folks. No idea. I keep waiting to see what they can do, but it doesn't say that. So that's very confusing to me. The key to finding these technologies is resonance. RE means no. No sonance. No contract with the sonar, I guess. Basically, matching frequency as in tuning forks where one is struck and the other resonates if tuned to the matching frequency. Also, a desire need to know in order to resolve a situation. Resolve, no solve. A situation problem and a desire to get a comprehensive grasp of what games of life are we are meshed in and what are the rules and why. Another is the information put forth to be found where anyone can find it. The English grammar you know so well from school was and is compulsory. Even if homeschooled, the English grammar is intentional, exploitational, fraud, and compulsory. Again, I, I don't get that. Compulsory. You have to learn to communicate, don't you, Mac Juno? You know? what, what would be your solution to that? All right. You don't know correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, or we, we know that. You don't know that. So what is your solution outside of, in an English-speaking country, children going to school, what would be your solution to learning plain, simple English? What language would you have them learn to be able to communicate? Would you perhaps have them tape their mouth shut and just communicate using sign language? Or would you have them just make grunting noises or I don't, I don't know what what see when people do this I don't think they think it the whole way through if you're going to present a problem you have to present a solution it's rule one rule equal that's what I do my solution to the fiction system and grammar modification is correct sentence structure communication parsing syntax grammar it's very simple this right here I'm entertaining all of this mitigation simply to show on a psychological level what the fiction system is in comparison to correct sentence structure. The correct sentence structure, something like this, is not necessary. All of this right here is mitigation. 
That's why I didn't publish it. It has nothing to do with the grammar. It doesn't. It has to do with the psychological condition of state of the author ensconced in the fiction system. Perhaps they think they're not, but by my perception and my experience, they are. And if they would actually ever take the time to learn the grammar, I think they would see that. Anyways, to move on, they say the people are made stupid and kept stupid with fluoride and tap water, medical drugs, poison injections, poison food, poison air, food void of nutrition, electromagnetic radiation, false data education, just to name a few, so can't resonate or think clearly enough to be own authority, thus exploited by fiction, malevolent authority. Okay. Again, if that's the world that you choose to participate with, if that's the value you choose to put into the world, that is the world you're going to get. All right? I'm not saying those things don't exist. I'm saying that remedy also exists. And you don't, you can choose to not participate with those things or at least minimize your exposure to those things. If you so choose, if those things are doing you harm, if they're a detriment to your life, if, if you're, you know, in constant pain and suffering, well, then you got to find a solution, right? Not a resolution, a solution. Exploited by fiction, malevolent authority. Who is that, Mac One Juno? If you had to put a name on it, what, what would it be? Um... Because as far as I know, you know, if I look at political figures that I know in my locality here in the township and stuff, they're not malevolent. Um, they're not malevolent at all. They actually think they're serving the community and, and things like that. So uh, that's, that's a nice little blanket statement that many people who don't have solutions but who like to fearmonger, that, that's something that people like to do. They like to think, oh, there's this malevolent authority for we do not wrestle with entities of flesh and blood, but spiritual entities. Ooh. I found several technology of the mind, started my search at age 24, sparked by resonance. Again, no sonar contract to a presentation of it. Later in mid-2000s, I found the equivalent to correct sentence structure for the mind and it at the time, obscure book called The Resolution of the Mind. The No Solution of the Mind. There is no equivalent of correct sentence structure. Correct sentence structure is of the mind. It's a psyop. All grammar and language are psyops because they take place in the mind. So that right there makes absolutely no sense to me. There is no equivalent to correct sentence structure for the mind. Correct sentence structure is of the mind. Period. End of story. All communication is of the mind. Because if you didn't have a mind, how would you be able to communicate? Think about what you're saying, man or woman. Logically. Think it through. Because it doesn't make any sense. Intended to be free. Donated to the public domain. First self-published in early 1992. Also, someone just started a YouTube channel, DIY Salvation, to bring it to public attention. That's another laughable thing that I find. Do-it-yourself salvation. Salvage from what? Right? I mean, this is a these, we're getting into sort of religious territory here where the biggest psyop on planet Earth, the monotheistic psyop uh, based in Judaism, that people need to be saved. Saved from what? For real. I mean... As far as salvage goes, I'm the salver. I make salvage claims. All right, I don't need to be salvaged. I've already done the salvaging, right? And if, you know, the people that learn correct sentence structure, they're on board with that same mentality. There is only one authority, and it's you. You're the salver, if you so choose to be. 
Fewer will duplicate or attempt to do the procedure than the 1% of the 1% of the 1%, as you often mention, and no one can certify it's being correct for another. I have for myself. Morpheus, unfortunately, no one can be told what the matrix is. You have to see it for yourself. Much of what I found, discovered, experienced in detail would be too incredulous for most to take in, especially for those of religious belief, though simplistic, easier to take concepts are provided in the book. As you assert liking to share psychological knowledge, you will find some in the book you may find very useful. I guess you have to have a reason to do that. So I guess if you're floundering around and you're, you're in pain and you're suffering and you're looking for salvation, then maybe this book would, would be helpful for you. Obviously, Mac One Juno was, you know, felt that they needed to be salvaged. And so they found this YouTube channel and this book in 1992 or in the 2000s or whenever it was, and they salvaged themselves. Some other people do it with religion. Uh, I myself have never... Uh, found that concept to be helpful in any way shape or form because i knew the only one that could better myself was myself the algebraic formula of the universe in mind is xy plus x in parentheses one minus y plus y in parentheses one minus x plus blah 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 looks more complicated than it is and you don't need to grasp it to perform the relatively simple procedures presented in the book however just as with correct sentence structure in the presentation of DWM lots that makes sense to those whom take in his many videos yet rare few takes it fully to closure I'm still studying correct sentence structure and getting a good grasp of syntax thanks to uh, blah 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 sticking to syntax playlists when funds become available I'll email for where to send gift money order as thanks for your sharing. Crux on structure and not hiding behind a paywall. Thanks, Mac. Hmm. Again, all right. Point blank. The reason why I didn't share this comment is, number one, because this person is pushing something that has nothing to do with correct sentence structure. They're pushing some other concept or belief system, uh, very similar to religious belief system, it appears. Look how long that thing is. There's really no reason for this on my channel. There really isn't. Uh, if you read the terms and conditions, it has to do with correct sentence structure, communication, partially syntax, grammar. All right? And this isn't even a periphery. Uh, a periphery topic this is just something else so if Mac wants to share that on their YouTube channel and teach people about it cool if if they're just sharing it because they think I might be interested in it cool but I'm not really interested in it because I have no reason to be interested in it just like I say you know people if they're gonna learn correct sentence structure communication parsley syntax grammar they have to have a reason to do it if they don't they're not gonna learn it you're just not gonna learn it um, so I have no reason to look into this. My now space, just like everyone else's, is limited. And I'm doing just fine, you know, with, with what I do. But I appreciate Mac taking the time to write this massive dissertation here. And if anybody out there finds this useful or wants to look that book up, um, I mean, you can go to my YouTube channel and find his comment in... If you comment under it and ask them questions, I'll publish it. That's a service I'll do for you, even though it has nothing to do with this grammar. Bottom line, why I didn't publish the comment has nothing to do with the grammar. I mean, if he's asking specific grammar questions, cool, but he's not. Uh, by my perception, he's pushing some sort of belief system, sharing some sort of personal story, which again... I appreciate the sentiment, but it doesn't really have a place here. This place is correct sentence structure, cut and dried. If you're here to learn it, great. Let's talk about it. If not, if you're here to push some other type of agenda, please push that somewhere else. Thank you.
If you'd like to learn correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar, contact me at the email address listed at the bottom of your screen. I will set up a 10 to 15 minute video consultation between you and me, and we'll see if this is something that uh, you're prepared to commit to. Thank you again, and I'll see you in the next one.